dog stampede. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is a new week of vlogs. The dogs are very angry. <laughs> and I'm getting ready to go to work. So I will see you guys this evening once my work is done. Hello again, I am back home. I have a little bit of chill time before I need to actually start getting ready. We did some setup and then the actual work event is happening tonight. So have some time to chill, relax, and then I'll get all snazzy for the work event later. But first, some Hulu and some editing. I am now snazzy, wearing the same dress I wore to Ashley's wedding. Off to work I go. Be back in a while. Hello, I am home from work, just in time for live PD. I'm going to eat I my- I couldn't verify your voice, so I can't answer queries using your home address. <laughs> Give it another try, or check the voice match settings in the Google Home app. Wow. When you're getting trolled by Google. I'm not really sure. Google trolled me. So I'm gonna eat my other half of my pepper <laughs> and relax now that I'm home from work. Yay. There's my pepper. So Pasco County's on tonight's episode just as a little feature. And Colby's pretty excited about it. Oh, never mind. Yogi's off. Back to my nap. <laughs> so I was cleaning our bedroom and I found two chews that were hidden behind the ottoman. Probably from Colby. So I brought them out and they're both happy boys right now because they have two Chews that they didn't even know existed anymore. Brand new chews. It's a happy morning. It's a good morning. It is Sunday. It's my one full day off this week and I am getting a bunch of stuff done. So kind of cleaning house and today I'm going to tackle my drawers as far as cleaning, spring cleaning. So two weeks ago in the vlog, you saw me clean out my closet last week. I didn't vlog it, but I cleaned out the dresser I have in the bedroom. And that dresser was workout clothes, leggings, bathing suits, pajamas, and then I had one drawer that was all just Star Wars. <laughs> so I've changed that um, into having one drawer of workout clothes and one drawer that's all my previous race shirts. So all my Run Disney shirts are in that drawer and I've pulled the Star Wars shirts into a pile in this room. And today I'm going through this dresser that's in this room and this has all my t-shirts, jeans, shorts. I think that's mainly it because I have three, four drawers of t-shirts. Four drawers of t-shirts. I don't wear four drawers worth of t-shirts. I wear the same t-shirts over and over. Some of them have sentimental value, but I think I'm gonna go through and try to purge today and ones with sentimental value will move into a closet, make up some space, and I think we're gonna purge some stuff today. To show you before, this is the current state of this dresser. As I've been cleaning other areas, I've just been kind of dumping things on here, knowing that this was going to be the last area that I was going to clean. So we've got some random socks and random shirts and sweaters and jeans. This is the state like of how full these drawers are. I mean, this is, double on top of each other. There's more shirts in the back and there are <laughs> four drawers like that which as you can see I can barely open. They're all stuffed and then these are all a pile of Star Wars shirts that I just threw in my suitcase. So <laughs> change needs to happen. Today is the day. take a break just to show you how many Epcot shirts I have. Um, if there was any doubt in what my favorite part of Disney is, <laughs> it's pretty obvious. Figment, Original Imagination, Dreamfinder, Spaceship Earth. There's definitely a theme. Oh, and one Universe of Energy shirt. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I'm predictable. 
Okay, here is the after. So we've got work pants, jeans, spirit jerseys that won't fit in any drawers. It is what it is. We have three socks that are missing their partners, waiting for laundry to get done to find their partners. And then we have the drawers. So I haven't watched the KonMari Netflix special yet, but I've seen enough online to understand how it works. So, ta-da! I at least <laughs> stole her shirt folding method. And I've got them all organized. So, let me switch batteries and I'll come back and tell you about it. Look at these boys. Hi. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm doing laundry. Ignore that. Are, are you depressed? Because I locked you out of the bedroom? Aren't you depressed? I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want to spend time with you. You guys just would have been all up in my business. I know of my bear. You know he's so spoiled on his little blanket. I brought you a chew. Okay. So I have my favorite comfy shirts that I wear kind of as pajama shirts over here. And I left some space because I've got some that are in the wash. More shirts that I wear all the time because they're super comfy. Random nerddom shirts here that I also wear frequently. This one is Harry Potter and then Disney. And I got Doctor Who, Bill and Ted's, and then one random Goonie shirt that I wanted to put with my Doctor Who shirt so I didn't forget it for Megacon, Star Wars, a few more Star Wars, and then just some random random shirts, some Tampa Bay Lightning, my Orlando United shirt, a pirate shirt, Sherlock shirt, just didn't go anywhere else. And then this is my least likely to wear shirts, all Horror Nights and Hallow Scream, Christmas, some other shirts that I didn't want to get rid of, but don't wear that often. It's a UF shirt, a Bronco shirt, and then these are like some band shirts, just some other Odds and ends, Alley Speed shirt. Another Bolts shirt. So these are kind of worn seasonally. And the other drawers are not too, but they're not as exciting. It's just like shorts. More shorts. What? There you have it. So I gave the dog some new toys that I'd, we'd been saving that were from my parents. And Colby grabbed this one and just ran outside with it. <laughs> And he's just on his bed. Oh my gosh, new toy. This is the best. Oh yes. Something new. I haven't had something new in so long. Okay, Colby has now snagged this one. Had a little trouble getting at the doggy door with it. Hi. <sighs> no resource guarding. That's a good boy. Yeah. Good boys. Here's what Colby really wants to do though. Wrestle. Wrestle with me, brother. Wrestle. Let's run. Let's run. Yeah. His, his true joy in life. <laughs> Wrestling with brother. Also, we had two more roses bloom. That one's just starting. Ow! <laughs> he just stepped on me. And that one's already starting to end. So pretty. Good boys. Yeah, share the toys. Good boy. So we had a different idea for cheat day, but it turns out they're closed on Sunday, so we went with pizza. No. Looks good. Here is the planner for the week. It is yet another use of the llama cacti spread and I actually have one more week of those stickers I can use so really learning how to stretch the stickers using the horizontal planner and I'm liking it hello it is Monday evening and I thought I would kind of explain what happened today so I had a very short day of work because obviously I work Saturday and then and then one of my friends from my previous job invited me to a charity golf tournament that was happening at Top Golf today. So obviously I don't play normal golf, but I do play Top Golf golf. 
<laughs> so I joined her team and we played for a charity event. So I have a little clip of said friend. Hey, I don't hit the ball. What are we trying to go, do? Go Gwendolyn. <laughs> you got this, Gwendolyn. All the way in front of her. Woo! Okay. Just hold on to the club. <laughs> Go back. Good shot. Okay. It might. Do it. Oh my gosh. You did it. Stop it. Oh my gosh. And that was super fun. It was nice to be able to spend an afternoon at Top Golf. We had an all ladies team. So um, we had two people on our team that actually golf. So we had no chance of actually winning the tournament, but obviously we're there for a good cause. It was fun. That was today. And then when I got home, Mike and I went and got dinner. So we went to a wings place because wings are definitely low carb approved as long as you avoid all the high sugar sauces. I forgot we came out for dinner. I didn't vlog. So I got lemon pepper wings and hot parmesan wings and a salad. They accidentally gave me fries, so Mike just has a giant pile of fries now. <laughs> Yum! So that was dinner, and now Mike is starting to watch Islanders hockey, so I'm gonna grab my computer, hang with him, watch some hockey, and that is Monday. So tonight we're gonna have some cauliflower crust pizza. We're gonna see, I'm not a cauliflower fan, but hopefully this has enough seasoning that I like it, because it's really perfect as far as nutritional information so let's let's cross our fingers that I like this because I really want to like it so there is one of the pizzas that one is Mike's because mine has extra olives mine's still broiling so there is mine and there is Mike's <laughs> this was our first attempt at getting the cauliflower pizza on a plate we got better the second time Hopefully it's delicious. Success. That was actually quite delicious, even though we couldn't eat it as normal pizza, really. Kind of had to eat it with fork and knife. But I actually found a cauliflower product I enjoyed. So yay! Now, even though it's 9 o'clock, I am feeling like Carmen and doing a little bit of batch cooking. I am making some little crustless quiche egg cup things to take to work for my lunches. So I've got some eggs I'm going to mix up and I've got some veggies. Veggies chopped up, there's gonna be some cheese and they're all gonna get mixed together and become little muffins. Okay, so we've got five large eggs. I've added in half a teaspoon of crushed chili pepper flakes and I'm going to add this, which is one tomato, half a green bell pepper and one scallion chopped up. Um, you can add pretty much whatever toppings you want to this, it doesn't really matter, but I'm going kind of veggie with it. And then adding one cup of cheese. So there's the before. So the recipe claimed to only make six, but mine made seven and sort of a half. So I think because my cheese is so big. So we'll see how they turn out. Well, they smell good. I think I will uh, fill them a little less next time. <laughs> they were a little puffy, but they smell delicious. And uh, now they will cool and I will pack them away for my lunches. Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday. And I thought I'd vlog while I look cute this morning before I go to work because I'm going to the gym after work. And you wouldn't get to see my cute outfit or hear Colby with his new toy. Right, Spare. <laughs> Hello, I am home from the gym. And I'm about to make us some dinner. So I have some shrimp thawing in the sink. And we're going to make some shrimp scampi zoodles. Zucchini noodles. Right, Ash? Right, bud? Yeah? So there's our zoodles and shrimp. The shrimp were a lot bigger before. So I thought I had a really good portion size for us. And um, they shrank a lot when you cooked them. So next time I will know to make more shrimp, but there we have it. Survivor time! Here we go!
Bean is very ready for Survivor, aren't you, Bean? Bean, you can't fall asleep. That's that's not part of Survivor. You gotta stay up and watch. <laughs> I can't handle this David and Devin's breakup. They need to get it together. I can't deal. They must have been real confident not to play their idols. I'm Eric, really hoping this is the night for a big Warren. move. Two votes Two votes Eric. Come on, big move. Break up comma. Those shock faces though. Goodbye Eric, goodbye. So hello, it is Thursday night. This was an especially long day. I worked from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. today, so it was a long one. But I'm home, I'm going to change into comfy clothes and I got some keto friendly Freddy's. So I wanna show you that. Lettuce wrapped Freddy's steak burger. So first, comfy clothes so I can eat said steak burger. Did you miss me? Yay! Also, I missed Mike. I got home and he has already gone to hockey. So he is gone doing hockey, but I am home now. Let's see what we have here. Ta-da! It is lettuce wrapped. There it is. I don't want to undo it too much. But there's my burger with some bacon. I think it's going to be good. Now, unfortunately, there are no low-carb sides at Freddy's. All of the sides have a lot of carbs. So I'm just going to have some of my jalapeno cheddar pork rinds as my side instead of french fries. It's Friday night, it's been a while. Well, it came out to Black Bear Diner. I'm gonna try to do low carb at Black Bear Diner, or I am, Mike's not, I am. So I am going to get this tri-tip with the house salad. Mike's gonna eat my cornbread muffin. I'm going to get seasonal vegetables and green beans. I started eating, but there it is. And Mike got the tuna melt. So we're home from dinner and I'm going to make a different kind of fat bomb for the next week because I only have one of my little chocolate peanut butter ones left. So these are all the ingredients you need for it. Almond butter, coconut flour, and some stevia, liquid stevia. Yeah, it's got one cup almond butter, half a cup of coconut flour and it says stevia to taste. So we'll find out, but so when it's done, it'll end up looking like this, which is kind of like the Oreo truffles I make at Christmas time, honestly. Um, and I ended up really liking the peanut butter cup ones. So I will make those again. I just want to try something different for this next week. So we shall see. So there they are, chilling in the freezer. We'll see how they turn out. Hello. Ooh, there we go. Hello, since you haven't seen my face yet today. It is Friday. Woohoo, Friday. And it's live PD night. But first, <laughs> Mike and I are going to go back out to the grocery store because he needs something. And when I was making that recipe, I used up all the rest of the almond butter. So I'm just going to go with him. We're going to have a grocery store Friday night date night. <laughs> Yay! He never goes to the grocery store with me though, so it's kind of fun. Kind of fun to go to the grocery store together. Okay, time to finally sit down now. We made some coffee. I'm gonna use some almond creamer. So I'm using this Doctor Who mug that I got Mike years ago. Yum. And those are not mine. <laughs> he is torturing me by having me sitting on the counter eating them in front of me. But I have my peanut butter bites that I made. So it's now time for those to come out. These could come out and play. So the peanut butter fat bomb was okay. I actually like the peanut butter chocolate cups better. Glad to have tried something new. And now I'm sitting here, of course watching live PD, but also. So I also did a YouTube premium trial so I can watch this movie, The Boy Band Con, the Lou Perlman story that Lance Bass put together. It's all about NSYNC, Backstreet Boys, probably other bands that all dealt with this con man. So very interested to see. 
because you guys know I love NSYNC and I was very much involved in their story back in the day. So, curious. You don't look comfortable at all, Bean. Not one bit comfortable. Not at all. Tucked in in your little corner there. You poor little boy. So I didn't make it through the whole documentary. I got maybe 45 minutes in and I am heading to bed. So that's gonna be the end of this weekly vlog. I'll pick up the rest of the documentary and next week's vlog and we'll definitely discuss it because it's bringing back a whole bunch of NSYNC and Backstreet Boys nostalgia. But for now, I'm signing off and just wait for next week, guys. We have a special guest coming. See you then. Bye.